Yeah. Storylines everywhere. Nathan Buckley, uh, um, you kick us off. So big questions out of the weekend, big questions looking forward. Where yeah, are you I'm looking game? back a little bit before we go forward. And my question is, did the Jacob Wiedering HIA from a week earlier Hello? cost Ooh, the GWS geez. the grand finals berth? So I thought what happened with Brett Daniels and the way that that game finished was a was a follow up on what didn't happen for the Jacob Wiedering. Wow. So, well, well, you, you're going to you're going to mount. Your this is going back a fair bit. So I think I believe that this that, that what happened with Wiedering, Wiedering or didn't happen with Wiedering has affected five clubs. Sydney were the only one of the last six clubs that that, that it hasn't affected because they just lost to. Um, we, we, but they will say he got a hit in the throat and um, there was no issue. And once he got his you know, his um, win back, he was ready to go. Yeah. Well. We've, we'll, we'll have a look Prosecute. at this vision again. But with, with Brett Daniels, when he got not, uh, got tackled into the ground, it was the 14-minute mark of the last quarter. And this this tackle took place right in front of the bench. Now, he stayed on the field for the next 10 minutes. So this is five and a half minutes later, in, in involved in, the, in his play. And obviously, there was just contest after contest. Yeah, another three minutes later, got involved inside 50. And at this point... Callan Ward had been taken off the field. O'Halloran went to Brett Daniels' role and Brett Daniels would lean in on Jordan to go just before this bit of play, which set up the last goal to put GWS within, within one point. So Hogan takes a mark there, kicks the goal. You can see Daniels, he's on his way off here. Mind you, this is exactly when Jordan Dugowie comes off and doesn't go back on the field for the rest of the game. Six minutes, 30 left on the clock. 10 minutes from the moment he laid the 10 minutes down. after, after that contact, that came under question. Now, what we have heard since is that the, that the spotter in the arc, the AFL spotter, sent a message down to the GWS doctor and the GWS doctors, his decision was, we need to take him into HIA. So Adam so, Kingsley, despite what he said after the game, would have been aware that he was going into HIA when Brett Daniels came off. Which Michael, means he's finished for the game. Which means he's go, he goes into 15 minutes of, of a HIA. So he's not going back. He's out of rotations. After they've made the sub. So Callum Ward, who's a fit player, Brett Daniels, who's now in HIA, and they've only got three rotations, which is irrelevant because That's the player was on the other side. My point being is that if we have a look at Jacob Wiedering's vision within the 15, 20 seconds of his contact, there was, there was and, and it, whatever that looks like, it's basically how Wiedering looked beyond it. Now, he was staggering. He couldn't hold his feet. Joel Smith actually picked him up off the ground. Now, we prosecuted this before. Daniels gets tackled here. Um, obviously, there is some head contact there. 30 seconds later, 30 seconds later, the ball comes back into his area and the contest looks like this. Uh, and in the end, he looked like he was sharp. So there's Brett Daniels. This is 30 seconds later. On his toes, at the ball. That's, that's not what Jacob Wiedering looked like. If there's a comparison in what, look, what it looks like immediately following the contact, it's chalk and cheese. Yep. And yet Daniels has to come off whether that's the GWS doctor's assessment or the spotter is a little bit more on it than he might have been the week before because maybe the call didn't go down from right. the spotter, but so I don't know. A way I'm following this is that the way this played out is to the letter of how that's it was written. That's how it written. potentially the should be, yes. And credit to the Giants. Medicos who made the call and the spotter. in the face. Well, the spotter identifies it and then the Medicos said, yeah, no, we will. And it was their decision. Your issue would be, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that the same process didn't appear to have been followed from a Carlton. No, so I think in some ways it's advantaged Carlton. And it might have been a Jacob Wedding's detriment in the long term. We don't know. It advantaged Carlton. It, dis it disadvantaged Melbourne. In this instance, it disadvantaged GWS and may have advantaged Collingwood. And we don't know. I mean, this is the, this is the pointy end. So I think there's still some grey area that needs to be cleaned up in the exact process and method that is used to get the right decision. Now, there's still going to be a decision that has to be made, but I think that, the, that those two scenarios, one week or seven days later, are mm. very different. So do we think the spotter, the AFL spotter, was just a little sharper this week? Eh? He might have been given a little reminder, do we think? Well, maybe, but in the end, all they can do is put it up mm. and then it was up to the Giants then to make their decision. Now, whether it was put up mm. for weedering, whether the spotter looked at that and thought... Yeah. It's OK. Oh, he's OK. And you've got to understand that, like, <laughs> the do doctors, they're not, they, they might be in the same profession, but they might have two different levels of where they believe their player 
has needs to go in a HIA as well. So I mean, there's there's still grey area. We understand that it's not black and white, but we need yep. to make it more methodical. It's a very interesting. We're going to keep going. I, I, yeah, I, so we, I want to say one more thing. Yes, you if can. I'm a player mm -hmm. in that circumstance, yes. with six or seven minutes to go, mm -hmm. I'm telling the doctor to go and get stuffed. Get away from me. I'm trying to put our team into a grand final. Now, what can the I, doctor I do? I know those... you would, no, but no, you can't. No. We're trying to no, protect but, no, what do you mean players they can't? from themselves. Yeah, I know, but what do, we, what do you mean they can't? Is, can the doctor physically remove the player? How do we know this hasn't happened before? It's a 100 grand where... fine if they don't come off. So 100 grand towards Brett Daniels? 100 grand. Didn't Port Adelaide get knocked 100 grand? Mm. For well, not following through? Yeah, I know, but if, if the doctor goes out or the runner suggests, hey, Brett, you've got to come out for the HR, and he says, hey, mate, Thanks for that. I'll chat to you after yeah, but, the game. But every player, Brownie, mm. in a prelim final, every player would say the same thing. Absolutely. We've got to save them from themselves. I know. They can't have the right to refuse. Well, well you don't have well, the right well, to refuse. Well, why not, mate? Well, because, you are in a game because of history tells you we'd all do the same thing. Yeah, I know, but why? Brett Daniels can do what he likes unless the umpire, unless the doctor or the runners or the, all the staff come out there and carry him With off the With the greatest ground. of respect, he can't. Once that decision is made for him, he, it's out of his hands. He's not the man who adjudicates yeah. it. That's what we've come... We've arrived at the know, point where guys, we say... I know, but practically, that's fair enough in theory. The practicalities of it. If he stays out on the ground and they win their way into a preliminary final, what happens to Brett Daniels? He's in a shies and load of trouble. And so what, do he gets suspended, do you, do you think? Do you remember the maybe. vision of uh, Jack Rewalt trying to creep back up the stairs? <laughs> yeah, but that, that, that was a but, far difference. So you've shown correct. 10 minutes of a player clearly correct. has all these faculties mm -hmm. to yeah. influence and that the game. That would football. be the frustration in Adam Kingsley yeah. and in the GWS Giants. Yeah. But in the end, their doctor was the one, that we're told, their doctor is the one that made the call. It's a very, very interesting point. And we'll watch very closely this weekend if a situation arises such as that.